Okay, the next one that we're going to look at is the Craftshark Pro Chisel. Now this is available from Goods Japan. Now I've sent a few emails out to different companies and the one company that seems to uh, want to help the most is Goods Japan. I've been speaking to Simon there and the information that he's provided uh, on a number of irons has been immensely helpful. Uh, and for that I'm very very grateful to uh, Simon and the team at Goods Japan. I'm, I'm waiting on an order on a couple more irons to come over but obviously it's halfway around the world so it's going to take a little bit of time and they'll be here before the end of the video hopefully. Uh, so to have a look at this now when I, when I got this uh, initially uh, and it's one of the first ones that I got to try out with regard to the the stitching chisel the, the fully penetrating uh, tool that will go through the leather. Uh, I was surprised at the size of it. It's it's tiny. And we're just going to put this next to uh, the Dixon number six, which is massive, huge. So you look at it and you think, well, this is a tiny little tool. What what can it do? Um, well, it, it can do quite quite a lot. They've had a good think about this at Crashar. Um, it's made from tall steel, so it's hard. Uh, it's got a black oxide finish uh, and polished teeth, and it's been hardened. So this is a, a pretty robust tool. Um, they cost 15 quid. Not a lot, really. And I appreciate for between 19 and 20-odd quid, you can get a set of the Pro line. But the difficulty with the Pro line is the only place that I can find them for sale is eBay. So that does beg the question on the consistency or the repeatability or even the quality. We don't know where they come from. It may be glaringly obvious. Somebody out there may know, well, this is the company that make them. This is who they are. And then by all means, feed that back to me. But Good Japan appear to be um, the eastern version of Tandy, if you like. They're selling tools for people to easily get into the craft and, and again that can only be promoted um, and this is one of the tools they, they sell a number of tools they sell the same where the craft shower and the european um, irons and we'll, we'll look at those at a later stage but this is the craft shower version uh, they do uh, 1.5 2.5 and 3 mil um, they do one tooth two four and six and this is the um this is the 1.56 mil and this will give me a stitch length of 2.5 and an spi of uh eight so we're still looking at a very similar spi to the tandy and the three mil pro line irons um this this actually is is remarkably well made it's it's well thought through it's got 1.5 stamped on the back uh, it's got craft japan on the other side and it's got this knurling down it uh, which makes it very easy to grip very easy to turn uh, not at all slippy yes it is a dinky little tool um, but i think the dinky tools promote um the mentality of detail because it's smaller you're taking more care and you can be quite accurate with it and as a result of that you do get a nice level of stitching um the hole i found was a little large for uh the spi because we're looking at eight spi that'll be the dogs kicking off thank you it's a robust little tool. Crashar have intentionally hardened the teeth so they break, they don't bend. Um, you know if you've got an issue rather than discovering it at a later stage when you've got loads of holes out of line. The tool is balanced. It's, easy. it's nice. It, it feels good. It, it feels proportionate. Initially it felt small, but having used it a couple of times it feels remarkably easy and comfortable to use the tool length is 9.4 mil and yes i would push this through nine mil of leather um this it's got less prongs so therefore be easy to get out give this a little bit of a polish i have to say that the inside of the teeth is actually quite smooth rather than rough 
so it's easier to get in and out and the more you use it the easier it's going to be i do think this is probably last um and for 15 quid or 23 dollars as it is on the site i don't think it's particularly expensive again we're looking at a, a minor investment to find out if this is the tool for you and if this will help your stitching you you your long time stitchers you people that can stitch with your pricking irons and your all work probably aren't going to be watching this welcome if you are um but i have to say my eyes have been opened up in relation to dropping the all from some of the stitching and, and this does a really really nice job um, the tool width is 2.3 mil so it's quite broad but the tool thickness is 1.5 mil uh, which is quite thin however it is got a nice angle to it they are quite chunky teeth they could maybe do with being a little slimmer it is giving me at the moment eight stitches per inch um, I think if we'd be going to sort of seven uh, stitches per inch this would be the ideal tooth width but however it's, it's something that you can work with and depending on the size you can increase the thread a little bit on this and go maybe for the 0.8 um, it'll give a chunky stitch but it will give the angle nicely I think that in the grand scheme of things they, they've got a lot right um, in relation to the, the stitching um, chisel stitching iron the stitching iron so we'll give ourselves a line and we'll see how this performs again the knurling gives you the ability to get the angle keep a good grip on the tool keep it nice and straight the shaft is quite long penetrates very easily goes through nicely comes out fairly easily as well. Line up the next hole all the way through and that goes through probably about two mil. The surface that you're doing this on is quite important you need it to be uh, capable of accepting the point that's full of holes and that I have to say at the moment looks okay. So I'm going to put that in the clamp, I'm going to stitch it with 0.6 and we'll see what it looks like. We're set up to stitch, again, number 4 John James, 0.6 bonded polyester tiger thread. Centre up, the needle goes through the hole very comfortably. No sticking. The pro line gave a smaller hole, and you could feel it, but uh, this prong on this tool is bigger, so giving a bigger hole. And the result is a very very easy stitch no all at all I'm going through three mil and you can see again how quick this is if if you have a lot of stitching to do it would be very tempting to do it with this over and above the traditional pricking iron because you're removing a process and you're guaranteeing a nice row of stitching on the back and there we are these pieces of leather are about two inches wide so just under two inches done very quick so that's the craft sharp pro chisel before it's stamped down. That looks okay. So let's just a tap down and see what that looks like. Just close those holes up. 
and that's not too shabby at all. Now, I think that we could possibly increase the thread size in that. Now that's eight stitches per inch at 0 0.6, and that that's that's a bit of a comfort zone for me. I like 0 0.6 at eight mil. But I think what I'm going to do on this occasion is I'm actually going to run another line of stitching down just below that one. Okay, to sate my curiosity, we've done the 0 0.6 above. It's not bad. Exactly the same iron, the craft shaft, uh, we've not changed anything. Same needles, number four, but I'm using 0 0.8 mil thread now, slightly heavier than the 0 0.6 because I think it's a big hole. It's a close stitch, it's 0 0.8. And I am curious as to what this will look like. Now normally, you'd suit the thread to the stitch length. On this occasion, I'm stitching to suit the thread to the hole. And 0 0.8 on uh, eight stitches per inch can work can work quite nicely if your hole suits. On this occasion I think the hole is large enough to take it and I'm certainly going through. I can feel it now, it's, it's beginning to give a bit of resistance uh, but nonetheless the stitching is nice and rapid, nice and quick. It's just that bit where the thread bulbs at the back of the eye of the needle going through the hole on the second part because there's quite a bit of thread in there so I've probably reached the absolute limit of the thread size I'd use on this hole which is 0 0.8 and I'm curious as to how this comes out and there we are doesn't take long at all All right, that's chunky. There's plenty of thread in there. And let's just give that a tap down to see what that looks like. Not too shabby. That looks all right. I'm quite pleased with that. I think it looks better than the 0.6. That's nice and chunky. That would look still fine enough for a wallet. It'd look really good in a belt, a bag, anything you want to add it on to. That, I think, looks okay. Right, there we are then. The Craft Shaft approaches will get uh, quite a vote.